I'm the king of halloumi. Take three couples. It's got a juicy rump like you. <laughs> Who love to entertain? I can do a dead good monkey impression. <laughs> Ask each to throw a dinner party for the other two. That looks and sounds perfect. Yeah. Probably not our normal kind of people, are they? And get them to score in secret. Well. On today's show. I actually got tattooed. <laughs> Judy and Will. <laughs> Decorative deals. You got a two. I'll get a piercing. Wouldn't be my ear, but a pierce. I'll pay for that. And age guessing gaffes. How old are you guys then? Have a guess. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that you're 32. I'm 24. Maybe I just need to get some wrinkle cream. <laughs> There's the couples compete to win a thousand pound prize. Probably never seen a green fly crawling across the pan and see on their plate before. <laughs>《ブラフプレイス》は、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、フレッド・ペリーが勝利したのは、I agree. No, I don't agree. Yeah. <laughs> But there's one area Builder Lee can lay claim to. Actually, I'm definitely the brains of the outfit. Tash is. Uh... The outfit? I chose your outfit. Yes. In the kitchen, and Lee thinks his experience as chief household chef will give him the edge. When it comes to cooking, I, I reckon I'm quite good. He likes to think he's good at cooking, but. Are you serious? <laughs> no, he's all right. I do like to do different things, do different things. Do flavors. weird stuff, hence the starter. Well, what's weird about vanilla cured salmon with cucumber ketchup and homemade bread? People might think vanilla and cucumber is a weird combination, but just wait till they taste it. Their opinions will change. Well, that's all that matters then. Wow. That sounds good. Never heard of that cucumber ketchup before, though, have you? No. Cucumber ketchup. Meet our second rather refined duo, wife Judy and her husband of ten years, Will. That's looking good, Judy. Well, yeah, thanks. It's hard to do. I've not drawn a pelagonium before. What? A pelagonium. Yeah, it's an evergreen perennial, William. I don't know if we're intellectual people. We do like reading. Uh, what are you reading at the moment, Will? I'm oh, reading, reading that um, uh, oh. book that you just finished, actually. Yes, World War One. Oh, don't spoil the ending. And manners are important for this well-kept couple. I have had a nightmare guest. He never even asked Will anything about himself till, like, 11 o'clock at night. He just talked yeah. about himself. Yeah. And then he um, did a massive sneeze and picked up my lovely linen napkin and blew his nose on it. Oh, Judy, <laughs> how frightful for you. In the kitchen and Lee's inventive starter already has its first critic. The vanilla's soaked into it. It's sure it's been left 24 hours. Stiff as a board. Ugh, for a starter, I don't really like any of it. I don't like salmon. And I don't like it. Cucumber. Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna give it a taste, Tash. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a convert, then. What's wrong with you? It's lovely. <laughs> Sounds like an air freshener that you would never want to use, basically. Don't you be my girlfriend. Rounding our trio of couples up, a music PR party girl, Jess, and her property developer girlfriend, Dale. We have been known to have been called the Chuckle Brothers. But the lesbian version. I'm the fat one, she's the thin one. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> and first impressions can be deceiving for this lively couple. Initial reaction is like, whoa, like, mm. who are these people? Yeah. And then the more time that they spend with us, they realise we're absolute walking, talking legends. Yeah. So they get Sounds. along with us. And modest, too. Back with the salmon starter, Lee's prepping the cucumber ketchup. I don't think many people would have tried it, but it is lovely. He blitzes the cucumber along with white wine vinegar. Perfect. Salmon. Mm, made I up. hate salmon. <laughs> I hate salmon. <laughs> Hopefully dessert will be more to your taste. Hazelnut chocolate calzone. Never very keen on chocolate puddings, cos they always keep me awake at night. Is there too much dark chocolate? Right, so this is my dish. So I'm telling you what to do. After adding sugar and yeast to water, it's poured into a crater of flour. This is where it could go wrong. Don't pour it all in, though. Lee! It's thinner this side. You need more stuff on here. Don't interfere, Lee. It's under control. Oh. Maybe it's not. Not gone wrong. Oh, no! That's your fault, Lee. I'm trying to watch you and do this. Lee! It's gone again. It hasn't. This is how it's meant to go. What's wrong with a bowl? Do rescued, it's left to prove. 
Here's a lot of chocolate calzone. No, it's calzone, that's how you say it. Yeah. I love calzone. I'm yeah, made I do up. As well. Once ready, the dough is rolled and cut before a hazelnut chocolate sauce is added and it's fried. Everyone loves a pasty. I thought it was a calzone. Especially a pizza pasty. The chocolate pasties will be heated later, so it's on to the last course to prep. The main. Chestnut sage and onion pork loin with egg-topped potato rosti. I don't mind pork, as long as it's been reared properly and had a nice life. <laughs> well, it's getting some attention now, that's for sure. Look at that, Tash. That oh. is a good piece of meat. Yeah, can you just touch it there? Oh. Do you love that bit of meat more than you love me? Oh, I can't answer that, darling. <laughs> ah. It's got a juicy rump like you. Well, that's charming. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you asked for that. Lee starts by making a stuffing. He blends sage and chestnuts, then adds breadcrumbs and onions. Oh, yeah. Chestnut, sage and onion needs to taste on point yeah. in order to counteract yeah. the fact that it's a bland piece of meat. The stuffing spread and the whole thing's rolled up. First time that I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh, that's a bit lovey-dovey. The whopping piece of pork goes into slow roast for around five hours. <laughs> Hands washed, it's onto Rosti. And after wringing out grated potato, Ugh. they're fried. Now, them are looking perfect. The Rosties will be topped with a fried egg later. I think posh people have written this, definitely. I think there will be an odd couple. I would say traditional, but want to seem alternative, but they're not. Prep done and posh clothes on. You've got to be on your best behaviour tonight. I'll try. No, if you won't try, you will. Can't make any Lee. promises. Mm. You better get practicing because your first guests are here, Judy and Will. Hi, Hi. I'm Lee. Nice Hi. to meet you. Oh, it's nice. Awful nice. weather it's been. Oh, oh it's horrible. So oh, oh, it's been dreadful. It's oh. rain. It was so oh, no. nice this morning as well. Oh, no. We brought yeah. you some chocolates. Thank you very much. I will just go and get my better half. Okay, lovely. Okay. Okay. See you in a minute. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Lee. <laughs> just met him. Nice Hello, couple. Lee. Seem quite sophisticated. I don't think they'll be in for a rowdy night. So they're posh. A little bit. Posher than us. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Who's the cook uh, between you? Uh, it, it is me. Yeah. Is yeah. Yeah. You're not a chef, though, are you? No. He's trying, not that good. Yeah. <laughs> Next in, a Jess and girlfriend, Dale. Hello. Lovely Hi. to meet you. I'm Lee. I'm Dale. Dale. Nice You're to meet you. Right. I'm Jess. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Are you OK? Hi. Yeah, you. Good. Intros, anyone? Yeah. I'm Jess. Lovely to meet Sorry, you. Sorry, I'm you. I should be in Jess. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> this is Jess. This is Will. This Hello. is Judy. When Jess yeah. and Dale came through the door, I was a little bit confused at first, actually. Um, and then, you know, the realised they were a couple. And, yeah, yeah I, uh, I thought, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice. This is, isn't it? <laughs> Not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Coming up. They had a, like, 10% service charge on, which yeah. amounted when to about like, 22 pounds, actually. Tedious talk. Who cares? Boring the life You're out of us. You're boring the life out of us. And separation struggles. Stick that over that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, it's no. a funny yoke, that. No, no. <laughs>in the time of the Raj, because yeah, that's George V, That's isn't what it? it was. It but whose be... father was George V? Just remind me, because I know His father was Edward the Seventh. Edward the Seventh's father. No, Edward the Seventh was the father of George V. OK, and wh whose mm -hmm. children were George V? You're following this, girls. Uh, David, who became Edward the Eighth, who, who abdicated, and George the okay. Sixth, who is the Queen's yes. mother. He's so knowledgeable. If you said that Will was actually an encyclopaedia, I wouldn't be shocked. The well, Queen's has this still yeah. on Commonwealth coins and yeah, notes sure. and That's Canadian, yeah. Canadian. And he's still going. First impressions of Judy and Will. They're very much like your parents. They're my parents. Yeah. Coin collectors, are they? Yeah. In the kitchen and with the finishing touches added. As you see by the presentation, we're looking more at 
a restaurant quality. It is ready, vanilla cured salmon. It's cured for 24 hours. Right. In salt, sugar and vanilla. Wow. Washed off and then mm. cut and served. Wow. Mm. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Are you a fish monger? <laughs> no. No. Hope it's, uh, hope it's enjoyable as... Okay. I hope it's going to be. Yeah. Lee, I've got a confession. You don't like... I usually don't like salmon. That's OK. Uh, but I'm going to try it. We knew people wouldn't like. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure there's to things fair, that I, I don't, don't like. I don't and... eat salmon either. Right. Oh, OK. No, no, no. no. You've killed me salmon for me, I think. <laughs> no, that's so nice. good. Genuinely, mm. that's proper amazing. I was expecting it to taste I'm quite fishy. Sure. The vanilla sort of takes the fish away. Yeah, it takes away. the edge away. Yeah. yeah I couldn't taste the vanilla. Well, it was a little bit jelly Well, the like. vanilla was there to actually mask the flavour of the yeah, fish. Yeah, Which begs the question why I have smoked salmon if you don't want it to taste with smoked salmon. I did think it was nice. I personally, with the starter, I thought it was lovely. Mm. At the table, talk turns from the starter to how everyone got started. We actually started talking on an internet dating site. OK. Totally just tingly, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. Like, we just totally compliment each other, like, mm. you're older than me, and so you've got right. the ability to kind of... <laughs> so she's got, like, the ability <laughs> to, you know, like, control me. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of control going on. Jess and Della, our first impressions are that they're, like, happy, aren't they? Bubbly and, yeah. like, up for a laugh, I, like I think. I'd actually like to go mm. on a night out with and Yeah. Whoa! Steady on. <laughs> so, how did Joe's two meet? Well, we were at uh, we were at college as mature students. Oh, you yeah. were 40 and I was 37. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's a I'm toy the toy boy. boy. <laughs> um, no, we're the toy boy. She's a sugar mummy. I'm the sugar daddy. Yeah. <laughs> or as some people have said sometimes, is that your dad? Yeah. Hey, people mistake you for her dad? Sometimes, yeah. How old are you guys then? Have a guess. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm going to guess that you're 40. Okay. And I'm gonna guess that you're 32. I'm 42. And I'm 24. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Wow. Amazing. A bit hypocritical for me to judge that because when I was 31, I had a 19 year old girlfriend. Did you? Yeah, but that. Yes, I did, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't offended by the age. What, no? what they guess me now. Maybe I just need to get some wrinkle cream. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what was like hard when we guessed the ages? You don't want to offend anyone. You didn't do a very good job. You're probably, I want to say then, at, like, 51, 52. Because mm. I think <laughs> that you're probably about 52, 53. Yeah, mm. yeah. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You mean easily that old? Yeah, definitely. You're not very good at this, are you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that sound yeah. awful? That was, yes. that was not an insult at it's all. Okay. It was a bit. I'm 58. And I am... Um, 61. You look oh, fantastic. Really? Wow. Well saved. Yeah, Will so. and Judy look fantastic for their age. And I'm sure they're all they're their own Nashes. Yeah, her Nashes are on point. They're probably not our normal kind of people, are they? Jess actually said tonight she particularly was reserved tonight mm. and which made me a little bit worried about what was to come because uh, I didn't think she was reserved <coughs> at all. Right. OK, everybody finished? Yes, yes thank, thank you very much. much. I think the start went down quite well. Dow, who doesn't even like salmon. Finish the whole plate. Finish the plate. On to the main then. How's that crackling? Yeah, the crackling. Oh, yeah. That looks and sounds perfect. Yeah. So. That's a good bird. Hey? A good bird? Isn't it a bird? <laughs> no, it isn't. After a quick carve, it's done. Stuffed pork loin with accompaniments. Oh, I'm so excited. We're <laughs> <laughs> crackling. Talking, everyone. It is dab moist, yeah. which is what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Is it free range pork? Is it like, you know, yeah. free range? Yeah. yeah. It's woodland, fresh from our... woodland reared. Yeah, pork. it's um, it's from. Well, it's not a local butcher's from uh -huh. here. It's in Bollington. This yeah. tastes good, it actually. Yeah. Yeah. It does yeah. taste good. Yeah. Will and Judy aren't really the sort of people that we'd hang around with like normally, but they seem really nice. Yeah, they seem nice. Mm. Meanwhile, talk turns to good old Wonga. I never tip in a restaurant, in a taxi or anything. Like, I don't get tipped in no, what I do. Yeah. When Tasha was talking about tipping, yeah. why discuss that at a dinner table? Yeah. Who? Cares. We were in a restaurant recently with friends and they had a, like a 10% service charge on, which yeah. amounted when to about like, £22, it on... pounds, actually. Boring the life You're out of us. You're boring the life out of us. It's like I was sat at the dinner table with my mum and dad. No, even my grandpa. My grandpa talks about more exciting things than tipping. Yeah. I think the mood of the evening's going well. It's a nice, relaxing yeah. meal and atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Well, the conversation's not everyone's cup of tea, but what about the food? The port was really nice. Um, 
moist and you could tell it was it was you know, good, I agree. good pork, wasn't it? It was nice pork. The pork was bland. The crackling was lacking salt. Mm. The stuffing was lovely, really nice. On to dessert. I think once they taste the dessert, that's the money in the bag. And people's got a lot to follow. <laughs> They'll be served with a special accompaniment. So this is our secret recipe. Um, this is chocolate vodka. Believe it or not, it's made in the dishwasher. What? Yeah, so we make it in the dishwasher. <laughs> I know it sounds peculiar, but the dishwasher is a perfect temperature where alcohol and chocolate, you can mix it, and it doesn't split or curdle or anything. Yeah. Mmm, soupy. Et voila, hazelnut chocolate calzone with a shot that's sure to cleanse your insides. That is chocolatey. <laughs> 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 it's definitely chocolatey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Will, you've got something on your lip, Philip. No, missed it. I like to think in my head that I am a monkey. I can do a dead good monkey impression. <laughs> <laughs> I am a monkey. Yeah. I can't even say it properly. Mm -hmm. Monkey. monkey. Yeah. Time for tax ease. The dessert was just chocolate spread put into a pizza. The shot, which I did drink all of it, must admit, but it was extremely potent. I think we're a strong 16, 17. It was an ambitious menu and it didn't quite pay off, so we're going to give them 13. 13. We're going to give Lee and Tash tonight a... 13. 13. So there's no service charge added to the scores as the final bill for Lee and Tash is an average 26. <laughs> It's the second day and the turn of duo Judy and Will, and our couples are expecting a rather classy affair. Will and Judy's night will be quite posh. Yeah. But good. Yeah. If the conversation gets boring, it's going to yeah. get to the point where I'm going to literally just start singing. Yeah, I'll do some of that. Just something totally daft. Well, hopefully the menu will be something to talk about. Tonight, our menu is all about healthy eating, uh, healthy foods that are going to benefit your body. Hopefully, people will appreciate that, and that's going to win us the competition. First bit of healthy grub is the main. Chicken and red lentils with steamed spring greens. It's quite English and, um, yeah. and rustic, really. I think I'm definitely the boss in the kitchen. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> you try. First job to watch over, weighing the lentils. 350 grams. Yeah, can read a scale. I think a little bit more, do you think? Well, that's 350 grams. But don't, don't you think that's 325? No. I do like that Will do some things in the kitchen and there's things he's particularly good at, but I'm the quality controller. It does say 350, yeah. but I'll put some more just, in. Just literally like a teaspoon more. That's the difference. Fabulous. It's not micromanagement, it's, um, I think it's uh, interfering. I mean, uh... Oh, careful, Will. Not really that exciting. Mm. Um, but on a whole, bless them. <laughs> In go onion, garlic and rosemary. May I have the lentils now, please, Will? Yeah, sure. OK, you've rinsed them, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so I have. They're all sort of stuck together with them. I think you might have over-rinsed them. <laughs> How can you possibly over-rinse? Stock and chicken added, it's in to bake. Next is dessert, French fruit tart with homemade creme patissiere. What? I think it's right. a fruit tart. It's a fruit tart. With cream. With... Um, Cream and fruit. Nailed it. Judy's chosen it, really, I suppose, if, if I'm honest, because it, it looks really impressive on the plate because of the different colours of the fruit. Hopefully. Uh, well, it will do. Judy starts by very precisely cutting the shop-bought puff pastry. I'd like the uh, pastry squares to be exactly the same, and I think 13 centimetres is the optimum uh, measurement. No, obviously. Whilst they're in to bake, they get on with the creme patissiere and start by separating eggs. And do you want me to break the egg? I can do that. Using an egg cup. An egg cup? Yeah. Golly. OK. What are you doing then? Stick that over that. This is interesting. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It's a no. funny goat, that. No, no. That's no good, is it? Show him how it's done, Judy. You could count, Will. Could you count? I can count, yeah. One, two. <laughs> In German, please. Right, I uh, like true British people, we're multilingual. <laughs> and the fact that we can count up to about ten in German. How many is that, Will? Fear, uh, eh? Fear, was fear. Is this fun for fear? Oh, fear. Fight. That's fun. No, hang on. Where are we up to now? Oh, uh, God knows. Well, this... So no, we've had I'm... sex. No, I haven't. Well, I'm... <laughs> it's all about precision, this, is it? It's all about precision and, yeah. you know... And being focused oh. and... 
Yeah. Oh, that's a funny one. Right, this is the final egg. That will be acht. Congratulate me in German. Du hast das sehr gut gemacht. Dankeschön. Oh ja, sehr gut. Creme patisserie. You've got to be very careful with that. Mm. I don't actually know what it is. <laughs> Yolks separated, they're added to cream and vanilla, heated and popped into the pastry before being topped with fruit. I have to concede that I prefer yours. You've done that task well, Will. Thank you. Well done, you. Their third and final course is the starter. Halloumi mango and watercress salad with a pomegranate dressing. Halloumi, that's cheese, isn't it? Yep. Oh. No, that is like a... Um, oh, is it? No, halloumi's a cheese, what isn't it? What am I thinking of when you dip, like, breadsticks in? Hummus. Well, they both begin with H. You are the king of halloumi. Everybody I says am, that when we have the, this dish. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I am the king of halloumi. So, there we yeah. are. I love halloumi, so I am actually quite looking forward to that. Ten slices out of one of these sizes of blocks for the right thickness, so... Ten slices, just as you said. You are the king of halloumi, Will. I am the king of halloumi. <laughs> halloumi prepped, Will attempts to peel a mango. Yeah, maybe a knife's better. Come on, Will, you can do this. Well, he's obviously not the king of peeling, is he? It's a dressing, Will. Would you like right. to try a little bit? Yeah, well. The king of halloumi, he say, very good. Oh. Very good. Thank you. Dismissed. With the prep complete, the king and queen of halloumi get changed. I think that they live in an absolutely luscious house. Yeah. A farmhouse, perhaps, tucked away in an old school lane. You know the three Ps? Go Precision. Ahead. Yep, yep. Planning. Mm-hmm. Perfection. Exactly. And hopefully no panic. Exactly. That's the fourth P, but we're not going to talk about that one. That's why I only said three. Oh, yeah. Definitely not time to panic now because your first guests are here, Jess and Dale. Hi, Dale. Come in. Would you like um, a summer punch? I would love that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. It's lovely. It was totally not what we expected. No. Really? And we it's... thought you. Lovely. You want to have some kind of big, ma massive manor house or something? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Next, it's last night's hosts, Lee and girlfriend Tash. Hello, Hello. Tash. Hello. Nice to see you again. Hi, Lee. Great to see you again. Yeah, great to see you. Yeah. 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 There for you. Oh, thank you very much. It's a long time since a man bought me flowers. They match your eyes. Cheers, Cheers folks. Cheers. 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 Oh, look out. Oh, go on, you got it. What's the history yeah. on this necklace? It's the, the uh, other Indian one. No, but it's really interesting again. I love the yeah. shape of it. Yeah, it's mm. nice. I'm just not going to wear one tomorrow. Coming up! You've got what the hair. Follicle findings. Can't think it was one of yours. You did use conditioner, didn't you? Yes. Mm. And sucre blur. If people actually knew that we'd put a kilo of sugar in, I think they'd swear completely. <laughs> It's the second of three nights in Stockport, where well-mannered couple Will and Judy are hoping a feast of healthy, fresh food will prove a hit with their guests and be enough to win a grand. Whilst the salad starter's prepped, Jess and Dale take a sneaky peek around the bedroom. Have a look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, bless them. I wonder how they proposed. I wonder if she proposed uh, to him. I was just going to say that. Were you? Yeah. yeah. Will just looks like a schoolboy that's just been picked up to get married. What sort of school did you go to? I think they're quite intelligent, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're intelligent people. And some pictures. Oh, that's a joke. Do you know what I think one of them draws? I wonder which one it is. I think Judy. Do you think? Do you? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Mm. With them oh, the pictures. Actually, yeah, it is Judy. It's got her know. name on the picture. Well done, Miss Marple. Back in the kitchen and... The king of halloumi. ...is attending to his cheese. Got two pans on the go, they're both at temperature, so it's just a case of not burning. Basically. I think you spoke too soon. Ah, uh, I think they're probably a little bit overdone. Oh, well, I think that's probably done enough. I'm no longer looking. I've been dethroned. <laughs> Any really oh, bad ones yep. can go under the watercress. Yeah. Here it is. Halloumi, mango and watercress salad. We have here watercress and mango halloumi salad. Is it well, cheese? Yeah. 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 Mm. It tastes like fish. As like a cuddy tea. Well, <laughs> fish have you been eating? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've ever had pomegranate. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Strange, I don't know why I've never had it before. Mm -hmm. Pomegranate <laughs> is my favourite thing to say. <laughs> Lee said he'd never had pomegranate before and he ate every single pomegranate grain. Mm -hmm. And um, Jess absolutely loves the word pomegranate, so that can't yeah. be bad. Should be going home tonight with pomegranate. Yes, pomegranate. Pomegranate. Yeah. pomegranate. This is rather fun to say, isn't it? Pomegranate. Basically looked like they didn't know what to make and they were just like, oh, we've got some pomegranate. Yeah. In the, you know, Left in the cupboard. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of mango. Mm. Let's slice it up and mix it together. Yeah. It was very higgledy piggledy. It was a bit simple. All you have to do is grill a bit of cheese and slap a pomegranate and it's bum. Hey, <laughs> you said pomegranate. When we were upstairs, I have a theory mm -hmm. that, Judy, you proposed to Will. That You're that one of those people who, if you see something oh, yeah. and you want to pursue something, you do it. Uh, I, I, uh... You're very observant, yeah. I have to say. <laughs> say yeah. really? um, <laughs> I did I did probably mentioned it. Yeah. Jess had a theory that I'd proposed to Will. I don't know where she got that from. She seemed to think I'm the sort of person who would dominate Will and and then take over. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever gave her that impression. On those photographs, you look really young. Oh, yeah. So you. especially Will, you look like a little naughty. <laughs> yeah, you look, you look like, like a little, little naughty school boy. Because he stood there oh, just like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, an interesting observation, mm. isn't it, Will? Yeah. Yeah. That you looked a lot younger then. I think they were surprised at how people look quite happy on their wedding day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So we'll clear away, shall we, Will? Still got two courses to go. Yeah, we could be on the winning straight. Yeah, mm. I think so. Here's hoping. On to the main. Oh, it's so hot. I'm hoping that the chicken's moist, that the lentils taste good. You think more lentils, Will? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to fill the whole plate. No, that's all right. Just to cover the actual design of the plate. I think we're... Just chop okay. a few more lentils there, right. to be honest, because it looks... I'll chop some there, to be honest. Any more? Don't it makes thin. you happy, Will. No, it just looks better, that's all. Um, and cool. that one as well? Yeah, too many. All right, that'll do. There it is, chicken with red lentils. Bon appetit. Hope you enjoy yeah. it. It's a pleasure. You all right there, Tash? Nothing, I'm just quite little. You've got a lot of hair on. I find a hair in my in my chicken. In your and chicken. it was basically stuck to my chicken. It was cooked in So the I chicken. picked up the hair and the chicken come with it. <laughs> Can't think it was one of yours. You did use conditioner, didn't you? Yes. Mm. I did like the lentils and the chicken. Mm. And I love green vegetables. Back at the table, talk turns to Judy's artistic flair. A few bits of artwork in the living room. Mm. Oh, they're really good, aren't they? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Just, that, like, is that a hobby? Or? It is a hobby, actually. Mm. And I particularly like doing um, fruit and vegetables for any of Yeah, we Yeah, we know exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. guessed. Yeah. Yeah. I think the shapes are so interesting. And I've, I've recently done a pineapple. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I just like... The, I've done red peppers and aubergines and cherries. Yeah. And I just think they're really interesting. It's not really... The picture we choose to have up in our house of an artichoke. <laughs> I didn't even know what an artichoke was. I was like, that looks a funny bush, didn't I? But it is her own drawing. Yeah, it's good. Anyone else autistic? I mean, I I've noticed Lee and Dale in particular, and of course, oh, yes. Jess, I've got some amazing artwork. Oh, so, have you got any tattoos? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, have you got a tattoo? <laughs> Funnily enough. Wow. Go on. Go on, Will. No. Well, the only tattoo I've enjoyed is the Edinburgh military tattoos. And I think that's about... <laughs> it's, it's, more or less puts me where I am, really. I'm just... We had a great time there, actually. Yeah, we did. we did. Where would you have one, Will, if you had a tattoo? What would you get? Yeah. I'll have it somewhere out of sight oh. where nobody could ever find oh. it. I'd be able to find it there. Well, well... Oh, <laughs> that's true. Oh, Judy. Yeah. <laughs> I think Judy would have one. But I think she'd design her own, like, fruit go. Or a pomegranate, perhaps. You should get love and hate on your knuckles. Yeah. Just... <laughs> do you think so? Will? Yeah, that'll mm. go down well. Look at the old age <laughs> women's girl. <laughs> We've actually had a good crack with everyone and good conversation. Yeah. Been able to throw out a few jokes, make people laugh. Mm -hmm. And on a whole, I think it's been a quite nice, you know, evening. Is everybody finished? Yeah, had yeah. enough? Yes. The main went down quite well. I was quite pleased with it, actually. I mean, lots of empty plates. There was only one plate that wasn't empty. That's the spirit. Onwards with dessert. I think I'm doing this right, Will. Yeah. A few on each. Using a spoon and kind of transporting it over. I don't think that's what Judy meant, Will. Botanical addition, anyone? These are actually edible flowers. You can, you can really eat them. I believe they taste a little bit peppery. There it is, French fruit tart with creme patissiere and an edible flower. Good luck, Tash. 
flowers are edible. Wipe the bug off it though. Mmm, bon appetit! Well that proves that they've been picked fresh today. Yeah, it yeah. certainly yeah. does. It does. I've got the little fella as well. Oh, <laughs> you got one. Mm. <laughs> Any more? I felt a little bit embarrassed. Yeah, having that, I did. Having that on the, but then on the other hand, you know, it was it was a green, organic, and showed how fresh the pansies were. And it seems Judy would rather be anywhere but here right now. I'd love to live in Edinburgh. I think it's just mm. a gorgeous city. We've been yeah. there for a holiday once. Mm. And, and Will can actually speak the language too, can't you, Will? What, Edinburgh? Edinburgh, yeah. But they have a different language. Yeah. Well, they have, well it's an they accent. They have a board-educated accent, you know? Because uh, yeah. 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 you do accents just as well, accents. don't you? I can do accents quite well, yes. Can you do a Glasgow accent? A Glaswegian accent? No. I can only That's do it. That's a lot different, you know what I mean? It's a lot of very different sound. Down, you know, mm -hmm. not like that. I can do Kermit with the Frog as well. I've had a really, really, really lovely night tonight. Thanks, Kermit. Time to go home. They might forget about the green fly, you know, they might not even remember it, but it's doubtful. I think they probably will, actually, because they, they've probably never seen a green fly crawling across the pansy on their plate before. Probably not. If you're going to serve fresh fruit, you need to wash it. Yeah. There was bugs crawling over it, and I don't really want to eat extra no. bugs. There was a few green flies kicking about. Yeah. Which yeah. is a shame, because, you know, yeah. they should have washed them properly. A couple of points off for the green fly, maybe one off for the hair, and the pastry being too thick. So 14, I think, is a fair score. Tonight was fun, but the food was disappointing, and we found bugs and hair in it. So we're going to give 12. 12. Tonight, we're scoring Will and Judy... 12. Hopefully they won't be bugged by their score, but the hare and a little green guess knock the points off and leave them with 24. <laughs> it's the final day and the turn of up-tempo duo Jess and Dale, who are hoping their liveliness will edge the competition. It's been very civilised these past two nights. It has for us. Yeah, and yeah. at the end of the day, we're just going to lower that tone, you know, bring out our own, you know, immaturity. We thought in the beginning that um, Judy and Will would be our, like, contenders, but then I think that Jess and Dale are, like, sneaking up as dark horses, don't you? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think they're going to surprise us. And the prospect of tonight's festivities has got Judy and Will thinking. I am a little bit scared of tonight, actually, I have to say. We might come home with a tattoo. Who knows? <laughs> A green fly, perhaps? Hopefully Jess and Dale will have something just as exotic on their menu. Theme of our menu is Chinese, Oriental. We really love Oriental, Chinese, Thai, Japanese food, don't we? So we decided to cook us. And first to prep on their Chinese, Japanese menu is dessert. Sour lime pie? So we haven't got a clue what dessert is in China. You yeah. know, we'll just guess that maybe they like a sour lime pie. Yeah. That's what we're going to make. Yeah. Just begins with some biscuit bashing. Butter. Look, Neely. Do you know what? We're totally obsessed about hair today. After last night. It'll ruin our night because, you know, it ruined theirs last night. They add the bashed biscuits to melted butter. I really don't like the taste of the butter. It just tastes like a butter. You're going to have to pretend, pretend that you like it and eat it. It's compressed and left to set. We've got to balance the sourness, haven't they, with the sweetness, so... Yeah. Hopefully, I think they'll get that right, though. Well, here goes the sweet. So I'm just going to pour this into there. As in pops condensed milk. It's whisked with cream and the juice and zest of five limes. <gasps> what is it? What? There's a hair in it, Dale. Sure. Or. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dale, there's an actual hair. Let's get it out. Tell you what, if Tash finds another hair tonight, she's going to have an absolute meltdown. meltdown. I love limes, I have to yeah. say. Sour lime pie, different. Yeah. Very, very different. The lime topping is spread on the base and it's in to set. So it's on to the main. Sweet, sticky chicken with Chinese vegetables. Last night's chicken was cooked perfect. It was moist. So tonight they've got to watch the chicken because they have to have it as good as last night's. Yeah. Maybe not as hairy as last night's. <laughs> <laughs> on the scale of one to ten, sticky chicken is genuinely a ten. Yeah, it's definitely a ten. To start, Jess fries onions, garlic and a splash of soy sauce. And so we're literally just going to bang them in, like so. you got enough room. And that's it, we just cook that for a little bit. And everything's combined. Graceful. We're now going to add a cup of fish sauce. I hope you mean a cap. Magic ingredient fish sauce. 
Absolutely stuff. <laughs> It doesn't smell I've like never it. really smelled it like that. It's disgusting. It is fine. It does smell like cheesy feet. Result. Oh what do you think God. makes it sticky? Um, it might be honeyed. I hope our guests have got a sweet tooth tonight, cos this has got a kilo of sugar in it. Crikey! Sugar. Better get the dentist on speed dial. If people actually knew that we put a kilo of sugar in, I think they'd swear completely, cos yeah. it is a lot of sugar. Just going to make sure that's all mixed in before we add the other one. Do you know what, babes? That doesn't need any more sugar. I was just going to say it. I'm not it's adding any more sugar to that now, yeah. so it's now half a kilo. Mm -hmm. They'll cook pak choy and broccoli tonight, so it's on to the starter. Szechuan prawns with a hot chilli sauce. For starter, we're going to cook prawns in Szechuan sauce. Szechuan sauce. I think that's how it's pronounced, isn't it? Szechuan. Szechuan. Nope. Something like that. Yeah. She won. No. She wants. Yeah. No, Szechuan. Are they going to make the sauce themselves or is it going to come out of a jar? It's Szechuan sauce we're making. I haven't actually made it, so I'm just going to keep whacking all the ingredients in until I get it spot on. Dale wax in fish sauce, garlic, ginger and tomato puree. Compared to last night's starter, it's a lot more adventurous. <laughs> Obviously, they've got to watch out that the chilli sauce isn't too hot. Don't worry, Dale's got a plan. Chilli powder next. But we did play it safe and we did get mild. We did. More sugar. It's actually really nice. Very good. It'll be combined and cooked with the prawns tonight. Yay! Go, 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 go. So that's the prep done. Time to get out of those tracksuits and into some more tracksuits. Let's have a ball! Ready for tonight, we are definitely dressed for the occasion. Yep. Nice and casual, nice and scruffy. Shows yep. off who exactly we are. we are. First to the ball and straight from a kid's birthday, by the look of it, a Lee and Tash. Oh! <laughs> Twin with it! <laughs> Did you like the balloon? Yeah. I love the balloon. I see yeah. the resemblance. I see the resemblance, but yeah. we thought, that's you two. I'm not sure what you mean. I swear my belly comes out. Must be a Stockport thing. <laughs> Lastly, it's Will and Judy. Hey! Good evening. <laughs> so, Lee and Tash mm -hmm. came in today and they've actually brought another guest with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. who? Yes. Yes. Could that be? Um, we've got Lee's twin brother. Oh, he's got more <laughs> hair than you. I can see the lightness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's got a slightly smaller head than Lee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So much in it. It's obviously got. <laughs> Coming up. I'm a little bit hot right now. Oh. Beautiful barnets. <laughs> I'm right now. You weren't yeah. happy, were you? Yeah. You soon whipped it off me head. And one couple wins a grand. In second place. <laughs> it's the final night in Stockport, where girlfriends Jess and Dale are aiming to take their guests on an Asian taste journey and saw their way to the thousand pounds. Whilst Jess and Dale busy themselves in the kitchen, Judy and Tash get into the Asian theme with a spot of zen relaxation. Oh, go on, what are you going to do? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my else God, it's kicking my legs. Oh, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you too. Back in the kitchen and the prawns are on. They're going to taste brilliant. Definitely going to be the best starter of the week. I'm thinking it looks pretty immense. The prawns starting it off Jess and Dale's meal. And there it is. Szechuan prawns in a hot chilli sauce. Here we are. Thank you. We've got Szechuan prawns. Szechuan. On a peppery salad base. We have got a confession, because mm. we, we don't, don't eat, like prawns. We don't eat prawns. Mm. Just don't think what it is. It's a it's massive hot, it? It's a massive flavour for you, because I know you. Yeah. I know It'll hit it. you. Try another. Wait. Go on. Go on, lass. You were impressed with the sauce? I was impressed with you? the sauce on the start, yeah. Prawns, not so much. Because they were a bit overcooked. Overall, I didn't really enjoy the starter, actually. I, I, I didn't really enjoy it. I sort of struggled to eat it, to be honest. I was trying to be polite. With mixed reviews on the starter, Jess decides to let her hair down. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry that I have to do this, but I'm a little bit hot right now. That <laughs> 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 you didn't expect that, eh? Are you over there? Do you want it? No. <laughs> Yeah. This is me back in the 90s. Wow, Lee. You put Tash off for life. Tash off right now. You weren't happy, were you? 
Yeah. You soon whipped it off me head. I was I just did. getting into me. He like me suited can't it. To mold. Me. No, he like pull, pulled it off too well. It's too small. <laughs> I can't get it on my head. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and Will put it on and was like, what? hey, hello. Yeah. Quite frankly, Will, if he had pouted one more time, I might have turned. Oh. He really got into it. He was tossing the locks back and forward, weren't you? Yeah, quite it was liked, quite yeah. disconcerting, really. Yeah. That's Sunday night sources for the next <laughs> few weeks. That start went really well. Tasha's actually at three prawns. Three prawns? Success. Pro? Definitely. Wasn't. Keep it going with the main, then. Has it worked? Yes. Yeah. Get in there! We did a winning starter. Yeah. The atmosphere's on point. We're now going to get along with our main, you know. Mm. Let's go straight through to the finish line and go for gold. Golden syrup, perhaps. I think I'm going to add a little bit more sugar to it just to make it a little bit more sticky. Honestly, Jess, you really do not need to put any more sugar in that paper. His teeth will be falling out. And that's not the idea. There it is, sweet, sticky chicken with half a kilo of sugar and Chinese vegetables. This is, um... Sweet sticky chicken. Tucking. Okay. I like it. Like. Yeah. yeah. I really like the chicken. I love that sauce. I yeah. thought you would. I love the vegetables because they're not they're not soggy. They're really nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love that. Chicken and the sauce were tasty, nice and sweet and a little bit sticky. I enjoyed you the You enjoyed main. the main. Yeah, yeah, I did. I liked the chicken. Chinese vegetables. Hot, I tried them. Hot choy. It looked a bit like a big leaf, didn't it? <laughs> we did give a very refined main course. It was very uh, exquisite and oriental. At the table, Judy's got a confession about tonight. I was a little bit anxious because I said to Will, I've just got this feeling that, 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 that I'm going to come home with the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a bit of thought about this. Yeah, yeah. And um, I had something on my arm that, you know, needed something fixing, so I actually got tattooed. <laughs> Judy and Will. <laughs> 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 I think Will was mortified because he thought it was real. Yeah. You know, we don't love them that much. I'll do yeah. a deal with you. Oh, okay. here we go. You get a two. Mm -hmm. And you'll get a wig. I'll get a piercing. Will and Judy have totally relaxed into the situation tonight. Yeah. Judy's even debating having a tattoo. tattoo. I'll pay for that. I'll pay for it if she gets it done, especially if we win. <laughs> yeah. Come home and you've got like a PSD with a diamond in it. No, it wouldn't be my ear, but I'd pierce. Uh-oh. What would you pierce? That'd be a nose stud. Oh, something. well, that's a relief. You've got one of these faces like Jim Carrey. You can you can mould yeah. it. Rubbery face. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I've put such a, like, stretch <laughs> 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 Like, everything just stretches and... <laughs> I think Justin Dale have done really well. It's been an enjoyable night. Time for dessert. Jess, you all right? Just observing for any, um, green... Flies. Sensible. There it is, sour lime pie. We had spicy for the starter. Uh -huh. mm. Then we had sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. And I thought we'd flip it on its head and go sour. Mm. Yeah. Actually, this is really nice, mm. but I could take more lime on it. Mm. I could. Yeah. For me, I couldn't taste any lime. I didn't think it was overly, like, tasty, tasty, was it? No. It's the end of the night, guys. And I have had a really, really nice three days. Cheers for that. Cheers, everyone. Cheers! Cheers. Yes, we were a little bit apprehensive about coming to Jess and Dale's. Thought they might want us to do something weird, like dance on the table with our underpants on our head or something bizarre like that, which, you know, in the privacy of my own home, that's OK. It's between us and Jess and Dale. I think our food better theirs. Yeah. But I think they're... Atmosphere and night and chat and, and with it being the last night, ours, well. so yeah, it's, it's it's going to be close. We're really just proud of ourselves, aren't we, of what we've achieved, yeah. and we're really grateful for the people that we've met. Mm. It would be nice to win a grand, though, obviously. Obviously. Well, you need twenty-seven or more to beat leaders Lee and Tash. Tonight was definitely one of the best nights for talk, chatting around the table, but the food just slightly let it down. So we're scoring fourteen. 14. The main course, I have to say, was delicious. The starter and the dessert were a little bit disappointing. And so tonight, we're giving Jess and Dale... Hold it right there! As hosts, it's Jess and Dale's job to reveal the results. Woo! Right, guys, this is a big one. Good luck. In third place, Judy and Will. Oh, okay. In second place... 
Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we brought Lee and Tashka! <laughs> Shut up! For the record, Lee and Tash came second. <laughs> oh. Judy and Will scored 14, making Jess and Dale winners with 28. Thrilled to bits for Jess and Dale. I'm really pleased that she Thanks. Oh, oh, I'm not a round of applause. We'd be close, didn't we? Yeah. But um, we made up for it. Yeah. Oh. We've genuinely won, you know what I mean? For your chance to appear on Come Dine With Me, head to the Channel 4 website. Monkey, monkey, monkey. And there's more brand new couples What Come Dine all this week at 5. And tonight at 8, what exactly is tofu? And is it as bad as it looks? We'll find out in Food Unwrapped. Next, though, Homer the Poser. He'll definitely be on the tofu. It's The Simpsons. Monkey, monkey, monkey.